Oh my god! Hey YouTubers, if you can't tell by the shirt, uh, this is a vlog on the Power Rangers fan film that has been uh, trending on Facebook and Twitter yesterday, and oh my god, that's all I can say about it. I mean, just wow! I grew up with the original Power Rangers when it was still Mighty Morphin, and to see a film like this, I mean, my, oh, I just geeked out as human, as humanly possible. I, I mean, this, oh, just, wow. Okay, the acting was pretty, was pretty good. Just, wow. And, and the fight scenes, they were actually pretty decent. I mean, for 14 minutes, I was just staring at my screen going, I was freaking mesmerized by this. I mean, I love the Power Rangers, and with this film, I, it's now one of my all-time favorite Power Rangers films, easily beating the first motion picture ever. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I, I don't know how many times I've watched this, but when I first saw it, I knew that I was going to have to make it, make uh, this vlog episode, and uh, I'm just going in all excited. I got no papers. I got no plan of what I'm going to talk about. It's just me freaking geeking out about this. I freaking loved this, this short film, and... and when I've been I've been watching it multiple times and I can definitely see there was a lot of thought put into this this was clearly written and made by someone who loved Power Rangers and not just the brand name Power Rangers but really loved Mighty Morphin Power Rangers the very first season and it's kind of clear in the writing uh, you you had the original uh, team you had the original team you had Tommy as the Green Ranger uh, yeah, but they even bring in Bulk and Skull. There was, re I don't, I'm repeating. There was a lot of thought and care put into this. And, okay, yeah. I'm still, <laughs> alright, I'm still reeling from the shock of seeing this. But yeah, this is like an R-rated, dark and gritty reboot take on the whole franchise. And this, uh, I've, this has also kind of put the short film into a little bit of a controversial issue. Okay, I've read uh, I've read the YouTube comments which this that's the thing I like about YouTube is sometimes you will get people who will have very rational thoughts and reasons for either liking or disliking the film and it's kind of a good thing that there will always be uh, opinions that are not like your own. There are some people who hate it, some people who loved it. I freaking loved it, as you can tell. And and when and when I read the the comments, some one of the comments was how this seems to be like a parody of of how Hollywood treats its reboots. You know, like there's like lots of blood. It's very dark very gritty there's lots of sex and violence and blood and drugs and alcohol and that's and if that's uh, how you interpret it uh, more power to you that it's not how I saw it I just I re this is a fan film first of all and so I saw it as someone who definitely loved Power Rangers and it was very clear I know I'm repeating that because I just it's just, it's still just so very shocking. I mean, because I remember seeing the original Power Rangers as a kid and always wanting to be all the, all the male Rangers. I wanted to be Jason. I wanted to be Zack and Billy. And when Tommy came around, I only wanted to be him. It's, it's like... It's almost like it's almost like seeing it again for the first time. And that's how, 
And uh, so I went on to Facebook and I follow Jason David Frank. I follow his uh, Facebook page. He's the original actor who uh, played the Green Ranger, my favorite ranger, and uh, to find his opinion. And he's kind of neutral. He's kind of neutral about it. He's more of a PG-13 guy. Uh, he neither hates it nor loves it. He he said that that even though this was a very good fan film. To use the name Power Rangers in this, uh, it's still, they're still connected with the kids, okay? So Power Rangers is, is still a brand that's being used today with Super Mega Force and Dino Charge, and it's still being viewed by kids today. So, and he even went on to say how this is not something he would watch with his daughter. And... And to be honest, I have to agree with him on that. I'm not saying that it's a bad film. My opinion is not going to be easily changed uh, because of someone who I admire as a kid and still admire now is going is going to shape what I'm going to think. No, I I I respect his opinion. It de it definitely carries a lot of weight, especially coming from him. And yeah, yeah, it is, Power Rangers is synonymous with kids programs, and if a little kid were to see this, they would be in the shock of their lives, you know, with all the blood, all the drugs, the alcohol, and the, and the sex, and, and violence, I mean, good God, it'd be like in... It'd be like the 90s all over again with parents just protesting the media is too violent, which is still going on today. Uh, and, of course, because, because uh, it's still using a brand that is being used, the videos now come under fire with Saban, who might... It was already, the video was already on Vimeo, and then that had to be taken down, so it's currently on YouTube, which is how I saw it, and that might be going away pretty soon, but, so, I kind of suggest that if you loved Power Rangers as a kid, then you just completely rewatch this. Just go on a freaking 24-hour binge marathon of just this, just this film, because... It's probably not going to be around for long. And so getting back, kind of, you know, I'm just kind of randomly going all over. My mind goes like beep, 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 beep. I just don't know where to go. But I really, I just loved the thought that went into this. This was done by someone who clearly loved the very first Power Rangers. You have the original cast and you kind of have updated costumes and not only that but they even incorporated some of the real some uh, real world uh, happenings that uh, with some of the original actors. You had uh, David Yost who the one who played the original Blue Ranger, uh, he came he came out of the closet a few years ago, and in the film there's uh, uh, Billy Cranston's like now this uh, multi million dollar uh, uh, philanthropist. You know he's like Tony he's like Tony Stark, and there's like a magazine uh, w with him and his partner, and and then they even incorporated the departure. Of Thuy Trang, who played Trini in the Power Rangers, the original Power Rangers, uh, her death, which some Power Ranger fans, myself included, are still mourning for the loss of her. There was, there was definitely a lot of thought. I don't know about care. There was definitely some care in the project that went into making it, and that's 
that's what I loved about it. Really, that's all I can say.